Let's dive into the stock of Tesla today, discussing what might happen with it, especially after the report. We'll have the report for this stock next week, and understanding this will be aided by volatility, as well as the volume of options trading. I'll also show you my portfolio, what's happening with Tesla's stocks, how I manage it, and we'll summarize the week. I've closed a few positions. I have another profit on Tesla. I'll show you how much my portfolio outperforms Tesla's stocks. As we see, it significantly outperforms these stocks. I'll explain in detail how I did it, but let's start from the beginning. Tesla's stocks have dropped significantly by 15% over the last week, which is not good, of course. Let's look at the volatility. First, volatility has risen significantly, especially the nearest strike by 84%. This is, of course, related to the report. I also want to point out that options based on volatility estimate a sharp movement of this stock within 10%, meaning options are priced with the assumption that the stock will likely move either 10% up or 10% down based on the 84% volatility. Let's look at the volatility smile. We have a skew towards the put side, indicating an increase in demand for put. It suggests that investors and traders are betting that the stock stock is more likely to fall than rise, and this is quite a normal situation because investors and traders hedge their purchased options predominantly through buying put options. The volume of put options significantly exceeds the volume of call options, indicating that most are bearish on Tesla after the report. Options imply that Tesla is more likely to fall than rise, especially according to market forecasts. However, if everyone is betting on Tesla falling, I wouldn't rule out the possibility of Tesla rising after the report. Perhaps it will be a more short-term reversal, meaning we might see a rise after the report, but over time, it's quite possible that the downward trend may continue. Now let's return to volatility and examine historical and implied volatility. Historical volatility is represented by the gray line, while implied volatility is the white line, and currently implied volatility, meaning volatility at this moment, is much higher than its historical value. But it's not significantly higher implied volatility is around 10% higher than its historical values, especially at the front end of the curve. This is quite a normal situation because Tesla's report is imminent and volatility is therefore elevated. We would trade not the stock itself but its volatility. I remind you that trading can be done not only based on the price itself, as most do, but also on volatility. So for example, betting on a decrease in volatility. Volatility always returns to its historical values, and the same will happen over time. I guarantee you that. Therefore, we can, for example, bet on a decrease in volatility, suppressing volatility, a decrease, for example, by 10%. As we see, artificial intelligence helped us to build strategies. Here we have strategies, the probability of win is 70%. There are also strategies with a probability of win of only 20%. Let's look at some interesting strategy that they offer us. We are offered to sell a call option option with a strike of 130, buy two options with strikes of 145 and 150, also a call option, and sell one call option with a strike of $165. The strategy is quite complicated. We can see what will happen with it over time. Yes, it's quite complex and will require management. Generally, I wouldn't recommend opening strategies based on any advice, including artificial intelligence. I still prefer to think with my own head, and I also advise all of you to understand how the options market or derivatives market works, and only then start trading with it. Let's look at the main indicator, which is our options trading volume. We have a very large volume concentrated at the level of $150 to $180. As for call options and put options, there is a much larger volume at levels of $150, $145, $140. What does this tell us? That we have a huge, huge wall that starts after $150 as for call options, and it will be very difficult to break through this wall. I remind you how a market maker works. When someone buys call options, the market maker is obligated to sell these call options, but they don't earn from the options themselves, they earn from commissions and spreads between prices. To hedge these sold call options, options, the market maker must buy shares according to the delta in what's called delta neutral hedging. This is a dynamic strategy and the market maker can indeed significantly increase the stock price. Since many of our options remain unrealized, the market maker is obliged to sell all the hedge they bought. Consequently, they also push the price down. If the entire volume remains unchanged, the market maker can continue to push the price down further. Again, I'm not saying the stock is bad. I'm saying this is purely technical trading. If the trend is downward, it will be very difficult to break, but it's possible. Again, an earnings report can influence this. If we suddenly have a very good good report and we were above $180, of course, the trend could change because we have a very large volume of options concentrated up to $180. And again, if the price rises above $180, in my opinion, that's a key level. I base this level solely on options. We see that the last price is $180. Look at the large volume. If all this volume is passed in one move, the market maker will be obliged to head and hedging all these options. Consequently, the price can continue to rise. But if we don't break through this level sharply, then of course, all of this could stall and start falling again. Now, let's take a look at what the market is forecasting for the month. The market implies an 8% probability that the price will range from $140 to $145 and also an 8% probability that it will range from $140 to $150. So the market suggests that the price will likely range from $140 to $150 with a 20% probability. This forecast is slightly bearish, more neutral of course. So the market's expectations are neutral for now. I also want to remind you of my philosophy. I don't know when the price will move. I believe nobody can predict price movement. The question is how 
to make money. You can earn by managing your positions wisely. That means if you manage your stock holdings, smartly buying and selling at the right times, you can profit from it. Now, let me show you how to do it. I have several strategies open here, AMC stock, SoFi stock, and Tesla stock. I systematically surpassed them. Let's see what happened with Tesla stock this week. This week, I made several transactions. I sold a put spread on which I made a little profit, around $24. Yes, it's not much, but it's quite risky to open any trades before the report. That's why I act cautiously here. Also, I have another put spread open with a relatively low price where I can make $20. Again, it's not much, but it's okay. Let's summarize the week. Today is April 21st, 2024. Tesla is currently priced at $147. I've recorded this in my spreadsheet, adding the profit I made over the past week. So currently, I'm conducting an experiment with $10,000. My initial goal was to outperform Tesla stocks through skillful position management. Everything is transparent. Feel free to check it out. So here's how it goes initially. Tesla's experiment fell by 26%, while my portfolio grew by 7%. Consequently, my deviation from Tesla is almost 33%. Let's delve into the number. The blue line represents my strategy, while the red line represents Tesla's stock. As we can see, the blue line indicates a gradual steady growth of the portfolio. I achieved this through smart position management, selling options, and hedging risks when Tesla continues to decline. At the beginning of the experiment, you had invested solely in Tesla stocks. You would currently experience a 30% drawdown. However, if you managed your positions like I do, you'd be enjoying a 7% profit. Look at the significant difference. Thoroughly document everything you can find it in each of my videos, including weekly reports. I've never missed a beat detailing everything extensively. Watch and learn how to manage positions effectively. Now, let's address why I opened so few positions last week. This is partly due to the upcoming report. However, because I don't know where the stock is headed, I can't predict price movement. Therefore, I decided to wait it out. My friends, let me tell you a simple truth. Patience is key. I can refrain from opening positions for weeks, even months, if I see that a stock isn't worth trading. If I don't anticipate any positive movement from the report, there's no point in opening positions. I don't know where the stock will go, nor do I know where the volatility will lead. Consequently, there's no way to play it. So I'll just wait it out. Nothing will happen to me in the meantime. The profit is gradually growing. Everything is good in that regard. Two weeks ago, I recorded a video with such a cover, and I absolutely didn't change the cover. In the video, I also talked about why there's a likelihood that the stock, presumably referring to Tesla, is still going to fall. I analyzed the stock market and derivative. Again, I mentioned that the market is showing us something. Interestingly, the next day, Tesla's stock rose significantly, almost 10% in two days. Then, the following day when Tesla rose by 5%, there were some interesting comments. People were literally laughing, saying, look, Tesla's stock rose by 5%. You were clearly wrong at that time. I wrote that we just need to wait and see, and now we see what happened. Yes, there was some growth, but at the moment, Tesla's stock has fallen by almost 20%, my friends. Where are all those people now? Please write in the comments. Again, what do you think about this? Those of you who laughed and said I was wrong, my friends, I'll say this, I was not wrong. I said the market was telling us something. I'm just analyzing volatility in the options market. I'm merely conveying information about what the market is telling us. Again, you can argue with that, but essentially you're arguing with the market. Then people laughed at that saying it was funny and that I was wrong. But again, it wasn't me who was wrong. Yes, the market was wrong. And as we can see, the market was actually right because the stock, of course, fell by 20%. Make sure to revisit that video if you're interested in what indicator I used, why I said that. Again, I said it because the market said so and that's what happened. Because thinking the market is always right. If you think Tesla will be worth $170 or $250, that's fine. You can buy stocks. But again, the market says the stock will fall and it did. Why argue with the market? I don't understand when you can just act together with the market, not against it. If the market says the stock will fall, then you need to take that into account. Furthermore, if you're a long-term investor, if you're looking at years, for example, 10 to 20, then Tesla is definitely a promising company with significant growth potential. However, before that, it may also undergo significant corrections. Also, I remind you that when I get monetization on YouTube, I will start a new account from scratch. It will contain all the information about my portfolio, what it consists of, dividends, absolutely all my trading transactions. I will publicly show all of this, just like I do with Tesla stock. Everything will be as transparent as possible, and I will share it all with you for free. I won't ask for any money for it. Everyone will see how I trade and what I do. I also guarantee that we will definitely outperform all the indices. It's quite simple. I have my own strategy based on probability theory and mathematics, how to properly and skillfully manage positions. Again, we will benefit from options, from volatility. I'm already a professional in this field, so it would be very exciting. I guarantee you that. Let's wait for the report with Tesla, see what we have, and after the report, we can start building good, well-thought-out positions. I also advise you to watch my previous videos related to Tesla stock and the entire playlist related to Tesla. I've talked a lot about the decline in Tesla stock there, why it will happen, and it did happen. To understand the whole logic of actions, I recommend you watch all of that so that you can stay informed about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. Then you will become a professional investor and trader. I wish you all the best of luck.